Our next speaker, Jessica Salazar, is going to share the power of being healthy, wealthy, and wise. I am super excited to be here tonight with you. Um, I'm Jessica Salazar. I'm originally from Mexico. I'm the dyslexia specialist at Calvert Elementary. And my journey into education started 14 years ago. And see, back then, the bilingual program wasn't as strong as it is today. So I remember spending endless hours creating my own resources. Uh, my weekends pretty much consisted in just doing lesson plans. Um, I will skip a lot of my conference times just to work with those students that needed that extra help. And lunches for me was sitting in front of my computer, just maybe grabbing a bag of chips or some cookies so that I could catch up with everything that I had to do. So I remember driving home feeling completely exhausted. Obviously, I stopped exercising. I was eating pretty bad. I had problems sleeping. And I was totally hooked to caffeine. And somehow, the next morning, I had to be in, in, with all this energy to be in front of my 23 students and Johnny. See, Johnny was this little sweet energizer bunny that went on and on and on and on. And I just couldn't catch up with him. Back then, I was living in such a rush that I stopped smiling. I stopped really connecting authentically with teachers, with my students, with people in my life. And that's when I knew I had to do something different. I could no longer put myself last. And I understood that the responsibility of taking care and loving myself was completely mine. So I went into this journey of educating and arming myself with a set of tools that would not allow me to stay stuck in that stressful and unproductive way. So the first thing I knew I had to do was somehow to bring some energy into my life, right? So I'm doing all this research, and it says that exercise is the easiest and fastest way of gaining energy. Well, there was a little tiny problem. I was exhausted. I had no energy. Right? So it's like, oh my God, how am I going to do this? So I did a very conservative plan where I was exercising once a week for two weeks. That was it. Then I moved to twice a week, three times a week, you get the idea. And then three times, four, and it was like, okay, I can do this. And then I started eating, eating much better. I make sure that I was hydrating myself and eating all those veggies and, and, and fruit and healthy grains, right? And I really saw a change in myself. I mean, my energy was boosting. But even though I was feeling good, there were days and perhaps weeks that I wasn't able to do this. And then the little chatter started. And I started to be very harsh, kind of like bullying myself for not being able to do this. Um, so the next thing I needed to do, or take control really, was my mind. See, I needed to start seeing things as they were and not bigger than they were. So let me give you an example. Back then, I will say things like, um, my God, you know, I am so stressed out. I promise you I've never been this stressed out. I mean, I feel like literally I'm drowning. If I have to do one more report, right, teachers? One more, I know I'm going to die, right? So this is the thing. Words create a reality. And I was choosing words that were not a very, like, supporting a very good reality for me. So I decided to challenge those thoughts. And I said, Jessica, and I really had a conversation with myself. Jessica, are you really drowning? I mean, are you really going to die if you make one more report? Or is it that you just have a full day or maybe just a full week? And it wasn't until I was able to separate myself from those thoughts that I created momentum. I wasn't giving any energy to that stress that I had. And instead, I started to take action. And the last thing I noticed is that the way that I was starting my day will determine how my day rolled or went, right? So uh, if I was snoozing all the time, if I were waking up tired, or it was in a rush, the rest of my day wasn't very good. So I decided to adopt a very strong morning routine. And I'm just going to share a few of the things that I do because I just have seven minutes. Uh, 
So something that I do, I not only exercise in the morning, but I also set an intention for my day. See, an intention is nothing else than something that you want to put all your focus on. You know, so I wake up and I say, what is my why? What is it that I'm going to live today for? And it could be laughter, it could be contribution, it could be communication. Today was connection. Um, so I do that. And then I have a little notepad next to me. And I write my top three things that I want to accomplish that day. And these three things are non-negotiable. Because I know if those three things happen, I'm going to have a pretty successful day. And then I like to practice gratitude. And the way that I do it is I just close my eyes and I bring my hands to my heart. And I just think of someone that has affected my life in a positive way, that has contributed to my life. And I really, really give thanks for that person. And then I think of an experience that had brought me so much joy and, and laughter. And I just try to relieve that experience. And finally, I just give thanks for something that I have in my life, that have just, life have just given to me. And I just sit there for a couple of minutes. And that single tool, guys, will put you in such a happy and beautiful state that it's hard to have a hard day, right? Or it's just going to be easier. But why do I give you or why do I tell you all of this? And it's because as teachers, we're givers, we're nurturers. And most of the time, we tend to put everything and everyone in front of us. And I don't know how is it working for you, but it wasn't working for me. And it wasn't until I took responsibility of my own life that I became a better person, a better educator, a better co-worker. So today, I'm excited to share with you that for several years, I get comments such as, Ms. Salazar, you know, you're always so happy and you're so energized, but at the same time, you're so peaceful and relaxed. It's like, whatever you are doing, I need to start doing. So um, this year, I'm super excited to say that at Calvary Elementary, we have our first meditation uh, club. So in the morning, we, some of us just uh, take 15 minutes to meditate, to set an intention, and to start our day in a more mindful way. And with my students, I'm always planting the seed of self-respect and self-love and accountability. So our days start very different uh, every day. Sometimes we start dancing. Sometimes we share successes. Sometimes we practice gratitude. Or one of my favorites, we bring our superhero inside of us. And all of, this, those, all of these tools allow my students to connect to that happy and beautiful state where anything is possible. Learning becomes possible. Oh, and by the way, remember Johnny? Johnny is still my students. We have a very good relationship. So he keeps coming with me, right? <laughs> Dyslexia. So... Um, the big difference with Johnny, because he still goes on and on and on, but the difference is that most of the time, I'm able to catch up with him. Thank you. Thank you.